so in this session we will understand the concept of processes first of all we will see the process concept then process scheduling operations on processes inter process communication communication in client server systems so first of all let's have a look at process concept so process and program both are related with each other but there is a big difference between a program and a process a program is a passive entity passive entity here means that a system is not affected by a program affection or the effect of a program on system means that the state of system is not changed because of a program in simple words we can say that or by definition a program is a set of instructions which are written for some specific purpose or which are responsible to solve some problem then we can say that this is a program if i simply write int a and save it like one dot c this is not a program the first criteria that a set of instructions is fulfilled but our second criteria that is written for a specific purpose or this program has to solve some problem is not fulfilled by this instruction that's why we cannot say that it is a program right so i can say that a program is written for some specific purpose and this program when it is saved in the secondary storage or in the hard disk it is a program because it is not changing any state of the system because of this program my system is not going to change its state right there is no computation going on because of this simple program until it is not executed mind it until it is not executed till the point it is simply placed in a file in the secondary storage it does not change state of my system and it is called as a program right when this program is loaded into main memory and assigned the required resources that those are required to execute this program it becomes the process right so a program plus the resources which are required for its execution now this becomes your process right so program was your set of instructions which can solve some problem right instructions which can solve problem and when resources are allocated to this program for execution 
now it may change my system's state it may change the content of memory it may change the content of registers of the cpu it may change the data on input output devices this program may change content of some file which been written by this program on the secondary storage right so this is what i mean to say that change in the system all these things cannot happen simply because of a program simply because of a file 1.c which contains a program to add two numbers and writing that result to a file sum.txt right until this program is executed after allocating some resources the content of this file may be changed the content of secondary storage will be changed during execution of this program the register values of the cpu may be changed the content of my ram or your main memory may be changed right so because of execution of this program your system is changing its state and because of this we say that a process is an active entity an active entity it change on it it keeps on changing its state a program will always be in one state it will not change its state by itself whereas a process start from its creation to its termination it keep on changing its state it does not belongs to a single state right so this is about the execution of a process and process is equal to the program code and the resources associated resources pc is the program counter that indicates the next next instruction that has to be executed and the status of process execution that how much this process has been executed what instructions has been executed have been executed and what instructions are remaining right so what responsibility an operating system will be assigned regarding a process an operating system will be responsible to create a process to remove a process or destroy a process or terminate a process controlling the process progress while its execution acting on interrupts and arithmetic errors that means 
during execution of a process if any interrupt is submitted to the system handling of that interrupt and if any arithmetic error is occurred in your running process how to handle that process is also the responsibility of operating system resource allocation to the processes if multiple processes are there in the system so which resource has to be allocated to which process the track of this is also the responsibility of operating system inter process communication if there are multiple processes p1 p2 p3 up to pn say so if data of one process output is required as an input to some other process so this is providing of this data to required process is also the responsibility of operating system so overall these are the main focus functionalities which an operating system has to provide with regarding a with regarding a process we have said that a process is an active entity which keeps on changing its state so a process may have five major states from its creation to termination when a process is created it will be submitted to the new state from new state it will be admitted to ready state from ready state it will be scheduled to run where it reside in the running state from running state it may be suspended if it is suspended it will be submitted back to ready state from running state a process may be submitted to ready state when any interrupt is occurred in the system from running state a process may go to waiting state when some io request is generated from this running process from waiting state once the io event is completed it will again submitted to ready state point to remember here is from waiting state a process cannot be directly submitted to running state because there may be some other process which is in the running state on the cpu so until that running state comes out from this cpu a new process has to wait and a new process which has acquired all the resources except the cpu will be waiting in the ready state and once a process is completed it will be submitted to terminate state right so let's look these states in little bit more detail suppose i have a program for addition of two numbers add dot c in my secondary storage when i submit a request to execute this program to the system system will pick up this file and we load this program into main memory this is my main memory or the ram so in the main memory or the ram 
this program will be loaded right so when this program is being created this this program is being shifted to main memory it will also assign an address space which corresponds to a process in this address space pcb is there process control block resources are there which are required to execute this process so during this creation of process this program belongs to the new state right so when a program is converted from a program to process it is submitted to the new state and once it acquire all the resources which are required for its execution except the cpu its state is changed from new to ready state its state is changed to ready state from the new state when all the resources which are required to execute this process except the cpu its state is ready state right and once that process acquires the remaining resource which is cpu it will be shifted to running state from ready state if it acquires cpu it will shift it to running state right from running state when some io request is generated from this process its state is changed from running to waiting state until the io event is completed it will remain in this waiting state once the io is completed it will change its state back to ready state and from ready state when it gets the cpu it will again submit it to running state once its execution is done it will be shifted to terminated state right so this is how a process changes its state since it has created till it has been terminated